Member for Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier, but first I'd like to congratulate you and all members in this legislature for your election, and I look forward to serving the people with each and every one of you. you Speaker, sir. inflation is negatively impacting all Ontarians, especially the most vulnerable. It's impossible for people with disabilities to live on $1,169 per month. An extra $58 will force them to continue to live in legislated poverty. It's wrong. Speaker, this is a moral issue. The people of Ontario want to care for the most vulnerable, and I would like and hope that the members opposite would as well. So, Speaker, will the Premier do the decent thing? and double ODSP rates so that people with disabilities can at least live at the low-income cutoff. Minister of Finance to respond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member opposite, and congratulations on, on your re-election and, and uh, serving the people of Ontario. Mr. Speaker, uh, there's no daylight between, uh, I think, the member opposite and many of us to make sure that we, uh, in these very difficult times, when people are feeling the pinch, particularly most vulnerable, and people, for example, on disability. That's why, through the campaign, we said we were going to increase, by an historic amount, 5 per cent, the Ontario Disability Support Program. That's why we are adjusting it for inflation. That's why, Mr. Speaker, we kept that promise after roundly being supported by the voters of Ontario, and we retabled in the Budget Bill G2 the other day. Mr. Speaker, uh, many Ontarians are, are feeling the pinch. That's why that's just one part of a suite of Response. measures that we've taken to support the most vulnerable in Ontario, and I'll have more to say in the supplementary. The supplementary question. Respectfully, Speaker, I don't think the minister fully understands the crushing cost of living in legislated poverty. Poverty and rising food prices are driving food bank use to all-time highs. Geopolitics, accessory grocery profits, and climate-fueled droughts are disrupting local food supply chains and pushing food prices through the roof. There are solutions, Speaker. Things like doubling ODSP rates, protecting local supply chains by permanently protecting prime farmland, legislation to stop price gouging at concentrated grocery retail markets. So, Speaker, will the Premier, will the Minister commit to implementing any of these solutions to make groceries more affordable for people, especially people living with disabilities? Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, and with respect back to the, minister, uh, to the member opposite, uh, I would just point out that that was uh, the uh, biggest increase uh, in over 10 years for RDSP. So it's this government that acted. We made a commitment to do that. We Order. made a commitment to adjust it to inflation. And Mr. Speaker, it's just one of many things that this government is doing, not least of which is the community, Ontario Community Support Program, which you know also supports for vision care, for dental care, for health care, for, helps for, with meals, helps with prescriptions. It's also why we've put in the budget the fifth round of social services relief under the leadership of the Minister of Municipal Fair and Housing for support of housing to help the most vulnerable, to help people with disabilities in this province. We're doing many things, and we will continue to do many things to help our most vulnerable in society as we work together to make a fairer society. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.